These are running sandals. As you can see, they look very different from a typical running shoe. And I decided to run in these sandals for a whole year. Why? Let me explain. For three years, I've tried many different pairs of running shoes, but all of them left me injured. My shins hurt, my feet were flat, and a spot on my left foot went numb. But then I read Born to Run and learned about the Taramara tribe, who run 50 to 80 miles a day in sandals, injury free. So I bought a pair of running sandals to test them out myself. This is what I learned after running in sandals for a year. Since I was a kid, I have worn running shoes with thick cushioning, so it was a completely new experience running on thin pieces of rubber. When I first tried on the sandals, I immediately felt the difference. Compared to how cushioned running shoes are, the sandals felt like bricks. I felt the ground way more than I was used to, and I did not know how my legs were going to handle this. Luckily, I came prepared. Born to Run suggests running at 180 steps per minute since quick light leg contractions are more economical than big forceful ones. So I played a metronome on my phone to run to the beat. Hopefully, this would lower the impact on my legs. When I started running, I noticed that the way I ran in the sandals was different than when I ran in running shoes. I did not have to push the ground as hard because my feet were not sinking into cushions. I also softened my steps because I felt the impact a lot more. Finally, the metronome helped me maintain quick short steps and land on the balls of my feet. After one mile, I decided to stop. I actually felt fine. Until the next morning. My calves were extremely sore and remained sore for the whole week. However, I noticed my shins were in less pain than usual after a run. So the first thing I learned was the truth about running shoes. When running in them, I would land hard on my heel with my foot out in front, known as overstriding. My calves were underused so all the force was going into my shins, but I should have been landing on my forefoot closer to my body. I never noticed how hard I was hitting the ground because I couldn't feel it through the cushioning. This caused me to deal with pain for years. I also realized that the sandals allowed my toes to spread out freely. When I wore running shoes, my toes had to squeeze together from how narrow the shoe was. It was no wonder that I had flat feet and a numb spot on my left foot. When I was in high school, I ran a max effort mile once a week for PE class, so out of habit, I ran the same weight in college. But with the sandals, I had to take my run slower, so I increased the distance to pace myself. I chose a 5k, and my first time was a 41.23, which was a 13.19 per mile pace. I wanted to improve that time, so I ran a 5k every week. After 4 months, I got a time of 28.35. This was a 9.12 per mile pace. However, my legs were very sore and it took the whole week for them to recover. I couldn't get a faster time without having stronger legs. Then I went on vacation and made the mistake of taking 26 days off running. Even though I still trained at the gym, my legs were very sore when I got back into running. It was as if I was new to running again. So the second thing I learned was that I needed world-class legs. Running shoes enable most people to run comfortably without needing strong legs. But since sandals have no cushioning, the legs have to be strong enough to handle the forces of running. So I started to take my runs more slowly. Rather than trying to run for a faster time, I started running at a slow pace, no faster than 13 minutes per mile. I was also running only once a week, so I aimed for three runs a week instead. Then I created a strength training routine. This included a ton of calf raises, especially with the bent knee, since that happens often in running. I also include the tip bar for the front shin muscles and the Peterson step up since it challenges balance and loads the shin in a bent knee position. Finally, I added exercises for my upper legs like hip flexors and Nordics. They train picking up and driving the leg. The last thing I did was not skip my runs. I learned how quickly I can lose my gains if I stop running. I also realized that strength training was not enough to maintain the condition of the legs. If I need to take a break from running in the future, jumping rope would be the next best option since it mimics the explosive movements of running. Most of my runs were on a rubber track, but sometimes I ran on the road. I noticed that when I ran on the road, I felt more impact on my body. My legs and back would get sore more easily than when I ran on the track. At first, I wore my cushioned running shoes to see if it would make a difference. However, my body was just as sore after the run, so I went back to the sandals but reduced the speed and duration of the runs. This was much more effective in reducing the impact on my body. So the third thing I learned was how to run on hard surfaces. It is better to train mostly on soft surfaces before progressing to hard ones. If the surface is hard, then I should lower the intensity of the run. I also learned that running shoes do not lower the impact on my legs, but they do protect the skin on my feet. My feet have formed calluses since I started running in sandals. However, when I ran in my running shoes, the skin on my feet stayed mostly fine. Despite this, I didn't like the narrow fit of the shoe. In addition, the cushions annoyed me since they resisted my natural pronation. This put a lot of strain on my arches. I'm so used to running in sandals now that I have no reason to return to running shoes. Running in sandals has helped me learn to put my ego aside and listen to my body. It helped me undo the damage I did from wearing running shoes. I cured my foot problems because I gave my feet enough space. I also learned that most of my shin pain came from running too fast with bad form. So the three steps to curing my shin pain are running correctly, running slowly, and training consistently. Thanks to the sandals, I learned how to run without pain. After running over 170 miles in sandals, most of them in a social context, I have received many questions. So I'll be answering the questions you may have in this section of the video. 
There were many times people have talked to me after seeing me run in sandals. For example, this was my friend's reactions when they first saw me run in them. Uh, let's see, on the grass? Like yeah. Really? Yeah. Like with those? Yeah. Really? What are those? Uh -huh. The regular flip flops? Yeah. That's interesting. I would, I would hurt. Oh, we're not regular flip flops. No, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. They're comfortable for you? Yeah. That's what it matters. He's going for animal. When my friends first saw the sandals, they didn't say anything about them. And that's what most people do. Others ask questions and give comments. I've never had a rude interaction, but I have gotten roasted before. What are those? But because I'm comfortable running in the sandals, I don't mind when people ask me about them. I run in the Alchemy Arache sandals by Deliver It Life Designs. I got these for $97, which is actually a normal price for a running shoe. If you want to know more about these sandals, watch this guy's video. I'll link his review in the description. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I am not getting paid for this. I would recommend the sandals because they teach you how to run correctly. And if you get used to them, you won't have to rely on running shoes anymore. However, I would only recommend them to those that are willing to deal with the challenge. Even if you are a seasoned runner, you will have to start small and gradually build up your runs. You can easily get injured if you run too much too soon. Ready, set, go! Running is now an enjoyable activity. Go, go, go. It has taught me to take accountability for myself. You know Michael Jackson, right? Michael Jackson, yeah. Yeah, you ever start marrying the mirror? Yeah. Like, you have to make that change. True. You have to get in the mirror, right? Yeah. Well, you can make that change. And the sandals prove that we do not need to rely on modern running shoes. Simplicity was what my body needed to solve my problems. Sometimes, less is more.